I want to create an AI clone so it can do my work for me. And what I do for work is I film videos for YouTube, TikTok, and I basically just put my camera down here and then I speak to the camera. But what if I could recreate my entire character as an AI? What if I could copy this entire room so it looks normal on the computer? And what if I can hook it up to ChatGPT and make my AI avatar speak? Could I get my AI to do my work for me? So I started off with Polycam. This is an app that you can just scan your face. I tried to do it manually with the selfie camera, taking pictures from three different levels. And you can see the results here. Warped. Then I look like me. Then I got my girlfriend to take photos of me standing in the living room, getting every single piece of that body. And you can see that this is what happened. It also wasn't good. Like, can you see the beard? Like what is actually happening right there? And then we literally went out to a parking lot and took a bunch of photos there outside. And as you can see, it definitely got those under eye bags. This one turned out better. I mean, my arm is a little bit wonky, my body too, but at least I got a hole through my legs. Okay, we got it exported into Blender. The next step is to make him move and to get him to speak. But first, a word from our sponsors. AI has brought new life into the tech industry after it has been destroyed for the last 18 months. Not only did thousands of people lose their job, but companies lost over $100 million in a single day last year. Outside of the tech space, many industries are still struggling. Earlier this year, one of the most successful investors of all time said that American capitalism is breaking down before our eyes. Now, almost 90% of financial advisors are looking for an alternative investment to protect and grow their wealth with a lower correlation to the performance of the stock market. One popular investment is physical commodities, including luxury collectibles like fine art. Historically, this option was limited to extremely wealthy individuals, but the art investing platform Masterworks has now sold over 45 million worth of artwork and distributed net proceeds to everyday investors. How they do it? Masterworks platform allows you to invest in art from legendary artists from Banksy, Picasso, and Monet. Over 750,000 people have signed up so far and paintings can sell out in hours, not days. So skip the waitlist and invest in blue chip art for the very first time by signing up to Masterworks. Go to masterworks.art slash AI Andy. Thank you so much for Masterworks for sponsoring this video. Now. Let's get back to the video. The next step is to make him move. Okay, we're just gonna delete this ground. Don't know how to use Blender. Just cleaning up around the legs. Just keep cleaning up the shoe and cleaning up that big shirt, big bone structure and all that, you know? There we go. It was just something wrong with the scanning equipment. Also, my face looking weird. So we're just gonna smooth that out a little bit. Fix the hands a little bit. <laughs> Can we add some muscles on this? Big boy. Yep, we working on that area right there. Trying to split those legs. <laughs> I don't know if this is how we do it, but damn, it's looking pretty. Like that and like this. Let's see on the shading menu. Yeah, we're looking okay. <laughs> This is like next level Photoshop. How to make bigger nose. You don't need plastic surgery anymore. Plump those lips up, plump those lips. There we go. Just like looking in the mirror. Okay, now it's not the worst. Can't forget to save this masterpiece. Oh my God, this will be the first version of AI Andy. But obviously we need him to move. We need him to talk and we need him to do my work. Can you do that? Yeah, 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 no problem. All right, the next step is 
by the way, link to this file in Patreon. Let's go to Mixamo. I'm gonna upload my character to Mixamo. So here you see how it looks like and then click on next. Place his chin where his chin is, his wrists, his elbows, knees and groin. Click on next. It's rigging. Whoa, it's alive. Yo, no way. <laughs> Let's see if we can get him to do some moves. All right, let's start off with a drop kick. Oh, easy. What about a flying knee punch combo? Oh, yo, no way. They got an entire break dance pack. Look at this guy. Oh my goodness. Oh my damn. He's already doing more work than I ever did. Okay, boys. I can already say that AI Andy is way better than me. How do I get the colors to work though? Okay, I'm gonna try to import it into Blender. And now I can put this color into the base color. And we got colors on him. <laughs> oh, yo, no way. <laughs> AI Andy is for sure way cooler than me. I don't even have a chance. So I was actually able to recreate my face a little bit better. And that's actually what we need for the next step. So I'm going to use this face. Now we're going to cut away everything that isn't my face. So we don't need the back of the head. So we're going to just delete all that. All right. So this is the final result that we're going to put into Unreal Engine and MetaHuman. Unreal Engine. 5.2 now available and it's 22 gigabytes. Okay, this is the first time I'm launching Unreal Engine. Uh, this is gonna be a learning curve. Okay, it has started for the first time. There we are. Now let's watch some YouTube tutorials. Okay, I need the Meta Human plugin. Let's start a blank project. So here it begins. Okay, we find the plugins and then we can search for Meta Human plugin. Ah, Install to engine 1.4 gigabytes 99% 100% okay we hit 100% okay we got it inside of unreal now and we just have to restart this is what we've all been waiting for I'm gonna drag my face into unreal engine import all my face is in unreal engine so I downloaded the meta humans plugin and this meta human 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 plugin and now i'm gonna create the project i have no idea what to do here but let's begin all right we're now on the inside the default one is looking very realistic so i'm gonna try to make one of these all right i'm gonna put my face in here import all okay it actually looks pretty decent straight off the bat loading ai andy all right we're gonna go <laughs> up close and personal on this one trying to create the meta human now okay i'm learning a lot more and he's looking kind of sexy okay create components from mesh and i'm gonna select my face okay he's in we're gonna make him unlit okay i'm gonna click on promote frame now we're gonna track active frame <laughs> it shows all these lines around my face and i can also go in and adjust this if i need to but it seems like it's pretty perfect the last step i think meta human identity solve and if i click b i get my face in a mesh form. And this is what I'm gonna mess around with, to make the final version. I hope that it wasn't too much of a janky scan. So far it's looking all right. So basically this is on and off and on and off. Now we can click on mesh to metahuman and auto rig the identity. Oh, I'm excited. Okay, it's available in my content browser. No way. <laughs> So the next step is to go to metahuman.unrealengine.com and we're gonna launch the metahuman creator. Here we are in the editor. Let's edit it and try to make it as close to me as possible. Oh man, what have we done? So I have opened a reference photo here of my face. And if you see, we have a lot of beard. 
that we need to get rid of. So we're just gonna start sculpting. This is really freaky. I think I have it at the place that I'm pretty happy with. Now I'm gonna start doing all the other things. Let's start with skin color. Get that Norwegian pink in there. Oh no. Almost feels like a designer baby. Like, hey, <laughs> how white teeth do you actually want? Okay, let's try the hair. So I'm actually rocking a bun but uh they look so rough and this one looks <laughs> freaking horrible <laughs> let's try doing the short pulled back one i have to figure out how to do custom hairstyles then we check the eyelashes we can also sculpt so i'm just gonna close my eyes a little bit so i'm just keep going there's so much customization here it's crazy plump the lips up it's starting to look more and more like me definitely better with a beard i want to get kind of my under eye bags i don't know how i can do that <laughs> <laughs> it's actually not that bad. I really don't know if it's starting to look worse or better. What do you think? Me on the left, me on the right. I can play around with this forever. And this is how he moves. Damn, it looks like he's about to film an AI Andy video. Wow, I don't know, but I feel like he has a little bit of me in him. Comment down below if you agree with that. Right now, these are not that far off. This could be a little stunt double me in a pinch. You know what I mean? Sexy clone. You're gonna do such good work. Now I just need him to speak. And yeah, this is his body. He can move and uh, it looks like he's doing a little bit more of sit-ups than me. It feels <laughs> so surreal that I've almost cloned myself. <laughs> <laughs> I am AI Andy's clone, but I don't have AI connected to me yet, like ChatGPT, or I can't even do AI Andy's work. So if you want to see more of me, comment down below, AI clone, and I may make a part two of this. Until then, see you later.